Hey guys, Seattle Andrew here, and I'm showing you Battlefield Bad Company 2 and Dead Space today, as well as uh, an opportunity to get four free games. So what's going on right now is Sony Ericsson and EA have partnered up to give you guys, the guys who own the Xperia Plays, free games. So what do you do? You need to get to this website. Um, there's a QR code down here at the bottom. I'm going to include a picture at the end of this video so you can bust open your phone and go to a barcode scanner or something like that so you can get to this site. Um, you can download uh, these through the web so you can also navigate just going to this website. Uh, just do a Google search on EA Xperia Games and then free, something like that. You'll probably find this pretty easily. Anyways, let's get over to this. Four free games, you can download them. I've tried out Battlefield, Bad Company 2, and Dead Space, and I'm going to show you guys what those games play like. So let's start off with Battlefield, Bad Company 2. Now this was a really popular game, uh, at least on the 360, so let's see how it actually works on, say, a device like this. Now, first off thing I want to say is it plays like a first-person shooter, so you're actually using these as thumbsticks, and then this is going to be selecting ammo-type weapons, uh, shoulder buttons, or to fire, and things like that. So, uh, this is Battlefield Bad Company 2, and as you can see, it uses the touchpads, and you can aim. Unlike Nova or other games like that, you don't have to actually swipe. So it plays more like uh, Minecraft uh, when I showed you that video. Uh, you'll actually navigate by moving your finger around the center of that touchpad. Um, and you can move. Um, the only thing I haven't quite gotten right is sprinting is weird in this game. You're supposed to put it all the way forward but it doesn't always work. Um, there's also no jumping, so you're always on the ground. Um, but other than that, the game plays pretty well. You have iron sights, uh, which is really good. Um, for a first person shooter, I really like that. Um, oh no, I'm being shot at. Oh. Uh, there's actually a dedicated button to return grenades. I think it's triangle or square. Um, but this is a pretty fun game, a pretty good first-person shooter. Uh, it plays pretty similar. Uh, it's not It's not going to have the multiplayer that Battlefield Bad Company 2 had. But one thing I did like, vehicles. You can actually get in vehicles, drive them... Um, and it's not like an on-rails thing like Nova 2. Instead, you're actually driving uh, the vehicles. So that's cool. Um, the game, because I've been having difficulty with uh, actually sprinting, seems really slow. So the pacing is weird. Um, but other than that, the graphics are pretty good. Uh, wow, I'm just shooting my teammate there. Uh, graphics are pretty good. Um... Aiming is a little tough. Uh, I would much rather prefer actual, like, joysticks, but for having a phone that does this, I can't complain. You will probably use the screen from time to time to actually aim, uh, as it's a lot better for sharper movements, which is unfortunate, but it's not comfortable. So, uh, I prefer this for comfort. I'll do this for actual aiming. Battlefield Bad Company 2, this is what the game is like. It's not bad. Um, for free? Yeah, that's a great game. Um, but for paying, I probably wouldn't do it. Um, what I would pay for... Give me a second here. What I would pay for is Dead Space. Now this game, this game actually shows off what the Xperia Play is about. So let me just quickly demonstrate what the game is like. I already like Dead Space because I think it does some really cool things, um, especially with how, oh no, with how it handles sort of the heads-up display that's you know pretty big in like first-person shooters, and it makes it 
pretty reasonable to play without a heads-up display on a, a third-person shooter like Dead Space. So let me just quickly open this up, show you what goes on. Uh-huh. Headphones. So it's spooky. Okay. This was a fun game to play on Halloween, by the way. Halloween on the go, when you go to all those parties. Dressing up as, I don't know, iPhones? Androids? I haven't seen too many Android costumes for Halloween. It's something we need to fix next year. Okay, so first off, the graphics are really good. Like, they're really nice looking. Um, so, like Battlefield, uh, you will actually play using both touchpads. Um, you'll aim using the L trigger, you'll fire using the right. Um, if you're not aiming, you'll buzzsaw like someone's face. Um, the game has achievements, so if you want to get stuff like, I don't know, awards for decapitating a whole bunch of people, um, you can do that. So just quickly, your health bar is your spine. This little like glowing circle on your shoulder is stasis, which basically is like a freeze telepathy thing. I don't know, it's dead space, it's science fiction, who cares? Um, but it's really cool. So uh, the controls handle really well, aiming, moving, it, I don't know. It's gotta be different teams because it's so much better on this. Oh, that was spooky. So, uh, pacing's a lot better. I really enjoy this game. Just phenomenal. Graphics, gameplay. This is probably the star of the games that I've played. I'm not a big racing fan, uh, so if any of you guys want to shoot a video on Need for Speed Shift or Hot Pursuit as a video response, please do. Um, take this offer while it's still around, because it's not going to be this way forever. Um, oh, yeah. Switch to vertical. So you see how it's vertical? Switch to horizontal. Uh, why is that important? Well, a person's head, you know, their neck, you can sever it that way. Or you can cut off a guy's arm. Or their leg. Yeah, so this game is pretty gross. But it's fun. It Frame rate's good. Um, oh, gosh. Oh, frick. Yeah, this game does that. It's a lot of spooks. Um, so leave your comments about these games. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe. I will continue making videos for you guys because you seem to like it. Uh, anyways, I'm Seattle Andrew, and thanks for watching.